This week's Torah portion opens with a statement about the length of Sarah's life, that she was 127 years old when she died. And this week I discovered a beautiful teaching from the Ishbitzer Rebbe. That's Rabbi Mordechai Yosef Lehner, who lived in Poland from 1801 to 1854. He observes that the years are complete years. He brings a midrash that also notices the same thing, that they are exactly 100 years and 20 years and 7 years. And in the midrash it teaches that those years are complete, to mimim, to match Sarah's perfection of soul, to mimata. There's a little comment attached to the Midrash that says that Sarah was like a perfect heifer, eglata, a female cow. It, I guess it was a compliment in those days. And the Ishbitzer Rebbe notices that the word eglata is similar to the word agula, which means circular. And this then becomes the basis of his teaching. That our lives are in fact not linear, we don't begin and then move forward in a straight line, but our lives, at least as God sees them, are circular, like a serpent with its tail tucked into its mouth. In God's eyes, our lives really have no beginning and no end, but we can consider that our lives begin, or our spiritual lives begin, at the moment that we come to have knowledge of God, at the moment that we come to attach ourselves to the idea of God, at those moments where we feel God's presence most acutely in our lives, that, teaches the Ishvitsa, is the real beginning of a person's life, or we could say, the beginning of a person's real life. Everything else is just points on that circle. And so, on this Shabbat, when we're reading about the completion of somebody's life, at least in years, the Ishbitzer instead would like each of us, I think, to be asking ourselves, when did our real life begin? Has it begun yet? Has that point on the circle opened up for us? Or are we still waiting for our lives to begin? And how can we move ourselves to the point at which they do? That was your Torah in two.